Hello, I'm Pastor Keith. Welcome to Morning Prayer for Monday, May 16th, 2022. The reading is from Acts 11, beginning with the 19th verse. Now those who were scattered because of the persecution that took place over Stephen traveled as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and to Antioch, and they spoke the word to no one except Jews. But among them were some men of Cyprus and Cyrene, who, on coming to Antioch, spoke to the Hellenists also, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number became believers and turned to the Lord. News of this came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he came and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced. And he exhorted them all to remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast devotion. For he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith, and a great many people were brought to the Lord. Then Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. So it was that for an entire year they met with the church and taught a great many people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. At that time, prophets came down from Jerusalem to Antioch. One of them, named Agabus, stood up and predicted by the Spirit that there would be a severe famine over all the world. And this took place during the reign of Claudius. The disciples determined that according to their ability, each would send relief to the believers living in Judea. This they did, sending it to the elders by Barnabas and Saul. First called Christians in Antioch. And what do they do when their neighbors are in need? They send them relief. And what do they do? They proclaim Jesus not just to the Jews, but to the Greeks, the Hellenists. And so, in times of difficulty, we love our neighbor even more. E pule kako, let us pray. Lord Christ, you came into the world as one of us and suffered as we do. As we go through the trials of life, help us to realize that you are with us at all times and in all things, that we have no secrets from you, and that your living grace enfolds us for eternity. In the security of your embrace, we pray. Amen. Now may Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless you now and throughout this day. Amen.